Paul paid a trade of prayer for the Ephesians. The importance of prayer cannot be stated enough. And one thing about it is when we're praying to God, we're talking to God. Amen. And that's very important. But this is something else here as well. Paul was a man of God. Wherever he went, things happened. When the one got around Paul, they got blessings. I believe that prayer is for us today as well. Give unto you the spirit of wisdom. Verse 17. That the God of my Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give unto you the spirit of wisdom, revelation, and the knowledge of Him. And that's so important to me. This is not a spiritual gift, but the fullness of the Spirit. Before one of the church can receive these blessings, they must have to come to and submit to Christ and His teachings. Come to the cross and forsake all. We have to come to the cross. Not carnal, not operating in the flesh, but operating in Jesus' teachings. We become disciples, disciples of Christ. An unsaved person, and I do believe this, cannot have God's thoughts. I believe that. I believe it's just impossible. An unsaved person is not to spend time with God. But I would pray they would at least open the Word of God. Let God's Word penetrate their spirit. Wisdom is to be wise. To be filled with understanding, a cautious character is part of wisdom. We have to be cautious of what we let enter into a spirit man. Got to be careful. The world wants to infiltrate you. Satan uses this quite wisely. You say, oh, it's okay. Go ahead. But God says no. No. Have the understanding that where the flesh brings you is really where you don't want to be. You want to stay and be in the spiritual realm of the Spirit of God. We need to be cautious. Yes, we need to be cautious. So much out there pulling for us, pulling at us, drawing us away. But I know this, when one stays faithful to God, God will remain faithful to them. Amen. A cautious character is a part of wisdom going earnestly in a certain direction. And this direction should lead each one of us to the cross of Calvary. To interest oneself in the work of God. What does God, what is God saying to us? We need to be interested in it. Interest yourself in what God is saying. Be concerned and be obedient to what? Following and doing what Jesus came to do. You know, 
in the last days, there's going to be a lot of wailing. Going to shed our teeth. The world will say, and many leaders will say, it's okay, go ahead and do it, because then you can be forgiven. That's not true, up to a point, but it's not. What people need to understand, when we do something, there's a price to pay. So let's stop doing it and quit paying the price. But where are the people at? We're blessed. We've got some people here. It's a beautiful day. Graduations, parties, fried catfish. I'd rather feed on the Lord of God. Amen. Yeah. My stomach, if I ate too many or any whole fried catfish that dripped in oil, cooking oil, it tears my stomach up. But you know, every time I get in the Word of God, my stomach don't get upset. Yeah. I just get stronger and stronger. Amen? Amen? So I come to the grand conclusion. Why well, eat fried whole catfish dripping in oil that don't get my stomach upset? I ain't gonna got a fool with me. <laughs> now Johnny Fatherway, he knows what he's doing. It's so good, Mickey don't never bring me back in. Uh, but it's got to be good. Praise the Lord. Wisdom. Following after Jesus. What did Jesus come to do? He came to save the lost. Heal the sick. Deliver those that are oppressed. And I'm a prime example. How many of you want to see a miracle? Well, some things you've got to go through. Amen? Amen. How many here are going through things right now? Ooh. How many want to come up here and finish the sermon? <laughs> I once was lost, but now I'm found. Glory bound. <laughs> and I'm not on the way now. <laughs> Glory be. <laughs> Praise God. The spirit of wisdom will bring with it rivers of ever living, flowing water. Jesus says that greater things than these you shall do. Greater things. Why? Because one is now tuned in to Jesus. Have you ever heard of somebody Say they're full of the Spirit. Get them out to church. Get them around others. And you don't know what they're full of. <laughs> they don't know it. But they're causing harm to many others. Amen. How does it get to our sound? When it's not tuned. Go, 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 go. I want to walk on the door. Amen. Amen. Go ahead and sing it. Go ahead and sing it. Let's turn it around. Let's give it to Mike. Go, 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 go.
the guitar was made to make a beautiful sound. We are made to be in tune with Jesus, making a beautiful sound. Amen. And it also says, Paul said he never stopped praying for those of the Ephesians, the Ephesians. Jesus never stopped praying for us. There's no one greater than Jesus. <clears throat> he was before all, and he will be after all. Through him, all things were created. Then it says, Give unto you the spirit revelation. Active revealing. And I believe there's something astonishing. Spirit of revelation to enlighten you. Give knowledge of spiritual insight that what God's Word is revealing. What God's Word is revealing. To increase knowledge. Have y'all ever read a verse of Scripture a year ago and you didn't quite understand it? But today, you read it, it's like lightning. It's revealed to you. Because God's Word is a living Word. Amen. And God wants to reveal Revelation. I'm not talking about the book of Revelation. That's good. I'm talking about revealing what God's Word means for you at that moment. Amen. To bring you through what if Satan is trying to bring you down? Amen? Amen. Stand on the word. Stand on. To disclose the true meaning of God's word. To a believer, when this takes place, the load of life is light. How many here know life is a burden? Ups and downs. But when you're with Jesus, the downs can become the ups. Don't give up. Hold on. When the rope of life, and y'all heard this, <coughs> You find yourself starting to slip. Anybody ever been that way? Time not. Then you can only slip so far. Then you got a hold to it. So when things are not going good, so we think, put another knot in the rope. Because they're going to get better. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Then finally, Given to you the spirit of knowledge to become fully acquainted with spirit of knowledge and open the heart that wants to receive divine revelation from God will. You know, Matthew chapter 20, verse 16 says, The last shall be first. And the first shall be last. That's why we don't need to judge anybody. Because we don't know that heart. Amen? Amen. Amen. Giving to you the spirit of knowledge. <clears throat> I had a man call me, I think it was Saturday morning. 15 minutes. He wasn't looking for advice. 
He was just looking for somebody to talk to. And I learned something. Sometimes it's better to listen than to try to tell that individual how smart you are. Because they're not going to listen. He just, or she, just wants someone to talk to. They down. That's all they want. Anybody in them feel like that? Go to somebody's house, or somebody come to your house, come in, and they got all kind of advice. And ain't, you ain't listening to them, of it. Because you're the one that's hurting. You're the one that's got a broken leg. Just come and be a friend. Let them know you care. Let them know you're praying for them. Let them know that God is still in control. Yeah, yeah. That's very important. We need to love each other and adopt in love. Praise God. The spirit of knowledge. I want to know what God's word is saying. And I pray this morning that we have touched on some of God's words to enlighten us as we pray for our families, each of us, ourselves, to know that God loves us unconditionally. Knowledge. What is your mind thinking? Have you ever thought about that? You know, a hellfire damnation sermon is good. But then I ask the question what good is a hellfire damnation sermon to someone who's already saved? Think about it. They need to be in the Word of God. Amen. To understand God. To understand what God is doing. To understand that God is revealing. To understand that God has got us by the hand. Amen? And I love that. You know... Back when I first got saved, I thought this way. I listened to teachers that was influencing me up to a point. But I got a hard head. They put it on. I fell 16 foot, a 13 foot, and hit the slab, and they didn't break it. Now that's hard. And that's the truth. Somebody said, can you back it up? Don't you know I can? Call St. Tammany Paris Hospital. I guess they still got the records. In other words, to be honest and frank, just because somebody says it doesn't mean that I have to believe it. I get into my word. And I let God's word reveal to me. Y'all know what shucking corn is? Well, who knows what shucking corn is? Brother Willard, what is shucking corn? Going to the hospital, you break in the end hole, you get all the silk out of the water. Clean it. In other words, there's a lot of shucking going on. <laughs> Amen. Amen. How many here have got a mind? <laughs> How many here uses their mind? <laughs> I didn't catch it, but they laughed. It must have been good. 
Now let's get back to Florida. <laughs> Shuck. What you hear. Shuck what you see. And shuck when you don't know what to do. But back it up with the Word of God. Who's going to be there when you kick the bucket? I'm talking about when you're scared. Huh? Jesus. Who do we need to listen to? Listen to Jesus. Praise the Lord. You know, getting back to when I first got saved, I used to, my belief was in Christ, period. I don't get me wrong. What I thought I believed way back then is not what I believe right now. It's spiritual growth. Amen. 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 And I might be wrong. <laughs> but <clears throat> I got baptized in the Holy Ghost. Because I had so many people tell me I, I don't need it, I shouldn't do it. But when I fell and I hit the slab, I needed something more than what they were saying. And I believe that's when all the past teachings, not all of it, but some of it, were broken off. That gave me the freedom to receive what God had for me. Amen. 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 And I think it's very important today. Seek the face of the Lord. Ask him if he's praying for you and you're talking to him. Ask him. Amen. Amen. Prayer. I go to Leeds every now and then during the week at the restaurant on the uh, what is that Louisville? They got an elderly gentleman, I gotta be careful. Oh, I'm elderly <laughs> His mother, I hate him. His daughter bring him there. And he's always asking me for a blessing. I think he's great. I said, brother, I can't give it, but I know the one who can, so let's talk. <laughs> Amen. Let's pray this same prayer for ourselves and this church and our families, our children. Amen. Prayer for blessings. Does God want to bless us? Yes. Yes, He does. So with that, I say amen. We got a small crowd this morning. Not really. Did you light them up?